Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs to Born but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be discussing some news around the Six Flags theme parks because something massive has come out of the recent callings um, this week and uh, we're going to be speaking about two other details which I think are very interesting to talk about but also the main reason for this video and you've seen by the title already 15 rides chain wide are going to be removed from their originating parks or their current parks after 2020 and uh, I'm going to speak to you exactly what's been said uh, on a tweet this all came from a tweet and um, just share with you you know what I've seen on forums what people are saying about different rides and things like that uh, so before we get started make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video Go and check out our other videos we've uploaded today. We've uploaded the news update from Karls Erlebnisdorf Rovershagen, uh, which was pre-recorded yesterday, and also a vlog from Yorkshire Wildlife Park. The first vlog we've done on this channel since February, and that was the York Dungeon trip, before we knew anything about restrictions. Um, so, you know, go and check all that out. Uh, we do have another update coming. We've got a construction update from Adventureland, Iowa. And I'm also pre-recording some videos tomorrow as well, including uh, a video about Alton Towers. So stay tuned for all of that. I think I'm probably going to pre-record that one tonight, ready for tomorrow. And uh, for now, guys, let's get straight into it and talk about what was said on a tweet about the Six Flags ride refurbishment, relocation, and removal program, which seems to be coming into the modern era of Six Flags theme parks. So this all came from a tweet from Andrew Hyde. Uh, so one of the intre well, a couple of other interesting takeaways from the Six Flags Q3 earnings call uh, was that attendance compared to last year, 43% in September, above 50% in October. They flex capacity based on time reservations are made to. But the big thing to take out of it is that they're removing 15 rides chain wide this year after performing detailed analysis of rides looking at throughput, looking to refurbish and redeploy as well. Good to hear they'll refurbish some rides. So what do you think will be removed or moved? So that was the official tweet from Andrew Hyde. Um, so, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of debates as to what rides could go. I mean, the SBNO coasters at Laron, the standing but not operating coasters may be part of that. Um, obviously, we knew about a relocation going into next year already with Green Lantern First Flight coming from Six Flags Magic Mountain over to La Ronde uh, for next year. The top spin at Darien Lake has apparently already been removed from the website, so maybe the top spin at Darien Lake is going to go. Splash Waterfalls at Six Flags over Georgia. The Bobsled Coaster, the Alpine Bobsled at Great Escape. Uh, which used to be Sarajevo bobsleds at Great Adventure and also Rolling Thunder at Great America, which was very interesting. There's the bobsled at Six Flags Over Texas as well, which is La Vibora, I believe. So uh, there's um, maybe that could go. I mean, the bobsled at Great Escape rarely opens, apparently, and it can't run at night due to noise complaints. Uh, and the one over Texas, the Livy Border, has three-person cars at a major park and apparently super outdated. Well, according to some people, they think it's super outdated. So um, it should be interesting to see whether that goes as well. The Frisbee at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, not the, the new one, the, the newer one, the Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth. Maybe Tasmanian Devil, maybe that could go on the way. And I did, to be fair, a bit of a spoiler for my one of my next five years videos that I want to pre-record this weekend. Um, I do have that on my list of uh, potential ride replacements in the next five years, so uh, that's a bit of a teaser for you. <laughs> um, so maybe the Tasmanian Devil might go from Discovery Kingdom, who knows. Uh, and of course, Flying Dutchman at Six Flags America. Apparently last time someone was there, they were missing at least half the boats. So maybe, but the ones that interest me, are the bobsled coasters that people think should go the levy border at six flags over texas and alpine bobsled at the great escape so it's very interesting to see both bobsled coasters what people think should go uh of course a little bit of information about the alpine bobsled at great escape it's been operating since 1998 of course it was starting off at six flags great adventure from 1984 to 1988 as sarajevo bobsled the intamin swiss bob and uh, then it operated from 1989 to 1995 as Rolling Thunder at Six Flags Great America and then came to Great Escape in 1998, the opening year of Oblivion to operate from then on as 
Alpine bobsled. Now, the bobsled at Six Flags Over Texas, La Vibora, again, another Intamin Swiss bob, uh, been operating at the park since 1986, but of course, it came into the park uh, after a run between 1984 and 1985 at Six Flags Magic Mountain as the Sarajevo bobsled. Uh, so again, like the Alpine bobsled, subcontracted by Gio Vanola, uh, but, but made by Intamin with the Swiss Bob Sarajevo bobsled model. Because uh, of course with the Swiss bobs that are the custom models and the Sarajevo bobsled clones. Um, and of course, you know, they are um, Alpine bobsled, La Vibora, and there's also the Screaming Delta Demon, which was removed in 2006. Um... Well, it was it was operate it was in storage from 1998 to 2006 at Old Indiana Fun and Water Park in uh, in Indiana. So you know there's not a lot of these Intamin Swiss bobs left. So it should be interesting to see whether Levi Bora and the Alpine bobsled are on the chopping block because maybe that could give Great Escape and Six Flags Over Texas future roller coaster edition sites so there we go that's looking at a few suggestions here and there as to uh, what could be replaced of course you know there's some on there that i really probably expected to be on there i mean apparently the top spins have been removed from darian lake's website so maybe that could go um I know the Splash Waterfalls at Six Flags Over Georgia, maybe that could be on the list. And uh, to be fair, that wouldn't be a surprise because, of course, we did an update about a year or two ago now, uh, or nearly two years ago, um, about that official closure back at the end of 2018. So, you know, we, we knew about that closure anyway, so I think it wouldn't surprise me, especially if it's after 2020. Maybe that gives us an idea of maybe Six Flags Over Georgia getting a new coaster in 2022. Who knows? Um, it would be interesting to see if the bobsled coasters are on the list because I mean that could poten potentially be future coasters for the Great Escape and Six Flags Over Texas because I'd like to see them add future coasters. Um, some flat rides could be on there, you know, the Flying Dutchman, Six Flags America, you know, that could be on the list. Um, and I'd like to see a nice flat ride replace that, a nice modern flat ride. Um, you know, and it should be interesting to see, you know, what is actually on the list. Um, so, big update there from Six Flags as a whole. And uh, I would love for you guys to go and check out some more Six Flags attractions. And, you know, come up with a list down below to see what rides you think are going to go. Um, you know, it wasn't exactly 15 that I just mentioned. But, you know, if there's any more you think could be on the chopping block, give it a comment. And uh, I'll reply to every single comment, as I always do. You know I do. And uh, for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update. Stay tuned um, for the final video today from Adventureland, which is a construction update uh, from their new 40 Free Spin Coaster Dragon Slayer. And uh, stay tuned tomorrow, because hopefully we should have an Alton Towers video as well. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, have a nice day.